She was old and neglected, so we cut her two bear holes and built her up from the ground with our blood, sweat and tears. So follow our journey as we plan to sail her to new destinations and make lasting memories. Last week on Sailing Lady Africa, we moved our headliner and covered it in vinyl. If you would like to support our rebuild, you can purchase one of our awesome coins on SV Seekers website. A link is in the description below. So this is where one of the diesel tanks go, or will go at the end. So I've put in a 50 more PVC conduit over there, and another one over there. Oh, PVC pipe. I'll show you some Sudaflex. This stuff is good for, it's a fast curing white polyurethane. Very nice to use for like general purpose stuff around the boat. Uh, I like to use this and it's cheaper than Seekerflex. So that's a plus side. But there's a million of them out there. I just seek, uh, Sudaflex them in on both sides. And then we'll paint them and we'll mark. The bottom will be our hydraulic line. And then the top one will be our electrics because our batteries come in here. Batteries with our inverter, and I mean, this is super light, those batteries are 40 kilos, plus the inverter that comes in here with our main line going through the top here, and then two bus connectors in, in the electrical panel. Right from that room, you come through, and then the power, the main supplies come in here, of our 12 and 220 will come into here, and then from there up to here where where the panels are and then it goes to the entire boat. Here's the piece that we, of that of Vesconite that we machined. I, I epoxied it into the, into the stainless steel bracket. And now we're gonna just put that into there, put two bolts through and some adhesive sealant. We will be cleaning up all the excess adhesive. It was time to get our acrylic and fit in our new windows. Say goodbye to our crappy tape. <laughs> We've been patching this for the last year, but I'll show you why. Come have a look here. So see, yeah? There's still Seeker Flex over there. And firstly, it's too thin. And secondly, it released from the acrylic, but it is old. But if you want a good sample, I'll break this one to show you guys what happens to old acrylic. New acrylic still does it, but not as much. 26 year old acrylic, this is what happens when, it, when, it, when you drop it. It doesn't even break. No, but they do break, they're super brittle. I'll pull this one off with force to show you how weak 26 year old acrylic is. So this 26 year old acrylic, and that's what it does. It just breaks apart. Completely brittle, it's sun baked. It's past its replacement date already. I'm gonna get rid of all of this. Not break. The best way to remove old seeker is to use an oscillating saw with a flat blade, which we only discovered later. Once the acrylic was removed, we sanded and grinded down any excess seeker flakes and closed up the previous screw holes. So the cutouts of our frames were square. So we added bonding place into the inside of our frames. A nice oval shape, it looks good. So we also used bonding place to 
cover up the surface cracks that we had. And we also used bonding paste to cover up the screw holes that were previously there so that it can be closed up, prevent leakage and whatnot onto our new windows. And then once this is cured, we will sand it down and make it smooth. So we'll first use an 80 grit cut to sand it down and then we'll use a 220 there also. We need to make it very smooth as we'll be using the 3M VHB tape to stick on our windows and then after that we'll be using the Cicaflex 295 to seal in our windows. This stuff has created such a mess. Got to do a few everything is inside there. Yeah. One of these days we're going to have a nice clear view. Before, tinted view after. We needed to make a supply run for some sanding discs as the Seeker ate them away quickly. And then we measured up our windows and made the cutoff mark where the window would curve and then taped off the area. We taped the windows in place and held them down so we could draw on the inside of the windows the mark where the primer would need to end. So it still has the protective coating, what we, me and Simone are doing now. I made a line from the inside where all the windows were on. And then I'm gonna use a blade, just cutting through the, the plastic protective coating. And then it comes out like this. And I use a 220 grit uh, sanding disc on the orbital to rough up that edge. And then we clean it, prime it, and that's done. Ricky then gave the acrylic a sanding on the part where we removed the film and then we cleaned it with Sika Activator. We primed our fiberglass first and allowed that to dry while we primed our acrylic windows. We were on such a time crunch I couldn't film the front windows process, but if you keep watching you'll see what needs to happen next as we have 12 more windows to do. You can huh? see out the windows! Our front window is in, you can see out of the windows, and if you're looking at this, don't be worried, because there's still the film on you. So when I pull the film off, it trims the black all nicely. Sure. See? You can see outside the window, so the black will all be gone once we pull the film off. And there's the old and there's the new. But there's still two films on, on the inside and the outside. That's why it looks a little bit like kind of glary. Ricky and Moses measured up and cut our ports and starboard side windows. We've got these panels all cut to the, the correct length. You can see the windows start a little bit narrower up top and then they go a little bit wider. So we're just cutting that offset on these. So each one will step down to a smaller size. So we're just going to cut that with a circular blade. Cuts it very well. And then remove the old windows.
So that's how Ricky deals with his frustration with the boat. He bashes out our windows. So this is the same the same panels as what we put up front and everything. So I thought, well, we're going to take them off. So I'd like to give it a test to see how strong it is. I didn't do the best prep job on this, but let's still see how strong it is. New ones are very strong. That's three more. Not even that breaks. We're going to have to cut that out. You can break that one. That's the new seat. We just did it once and it just went Oh, this one just... That's... This is old. This is 20 odd years old. As you can see, the oscillating saw removes the old seeker a lot faster. Ricky also sanded down the epoxy filler that we put in between the frame and the hull. It was a mess inside the boat, so I was cleaning and Ricky and Moses did last minute measuring. It's a lovely day to be doing our windows. It was raining hard last night so we just covered the boat with plastic so we were quite nervous to come back but it seems everything's okay, just a little bit of water got in but nothing we can't dry up so we're going to pop out all our windows and get them in. Almost, yeah. Heck yeah. So those windows, they're just being held in and they still got all their tape on it. But what we're going to do now is run with the Sharpie, just run the mark. As close up into the corner as possible. All of them are just held in with some masking tape just to hold them in place and now we'll start taking them off, priming and prepping them to get fitted. Does she fit? Like a glove, my like a glove. Like a glove? We've got all our lines marked. And now we just cut and use the blade to score it. The next step we're doing now is this is 500 grit sandpaper. We're just gonna roughen up all the edges that we're gonna prime and then we'll put some primer to it. So, where we found on all the windows that we took off, they were primed and they were prepped. But two things I did notice is that when you do put the windows down, 
tape them up to make sure that it holds down the whole time while the Seeker Flex is drying because of the expansion and the contraction of the acrylics. Another thing was these were not sanded. That's the only thing they didn't do. They did prime it, but they didn't sand it. And, you, and we noticed that the primer was actually coming off the acrylic. So you're given a nice, I mean, once you clean it, you can, it's still super, super smooth. The 500 grit does almost nothing. It just gets rid of that gloss. Busy masking up everywhere because we're going to paint the, the border which is going to make everything black. 